The Lacha we're going to discuss today comes after Tzad, after capturing. It's the Lacha of Shechet, the Shecht. And the Mishkin to get the hides, to get the hides of the animals, or the Tachash actually, what they need for the, uh, for the, uh, the skins, yeah. So they would shech the animal after they captured it. They would shech the animal and then they would uh, skin it, which we'll get to the next malachah. But we'll hold it by shechet. They shechted the animal. Now it's an interesting malachah because the, the malachas in the Mishkan, even though uh, the essence of the malachah may be one thing, but we put it in sidur the pass. We put it in let's say bishul, right? It doesn't have to be bishul. It could be eifer baking. It could be all kinds of things, but uh, the the malacha actually it's, uh, it says for uh, and bishop, but it's all uh, we'll that's to do with the past. We put the the cooking into the form of baking. So here we have all they want is the skin of the animal, right? And we're calling it shaykh, the shaft. I mean, you could kill it many different ways. The Gemara actually asked uh, as a kasha. The Gemara asked, why why are you uh, uh, why, why is the Gemara say shaykh? They could have just choked it and, and killed it. Very interesting tshuva that we have in Ezer. Yeah. Well, it says like this. Shoichet mishum mai mechayif. That's the kind of question. Why, why is shoichet chayif? So the Gemara says, Pir Shrashi, Shrita b'mlechus ha-mishkan, hey, when did you have Shrita in the Mishkan? And what was the purpose? If it was to get the Iris Elam Adonim, to get the uh, the, the, the skins, Lomu b'shrita b'chanika, that's a Rashi one's a kasha. They could have just choked it. Why do they have to do Shrita? Mm-hmm. In other words, why are we calling the Melacha Shoichet? And the question is really, wasn't all bothered by so much. All the malachas of the Mishkan are like that. You, uh, you just pick a one way of doing it, but it doesn't mean that we all know if you kill an animal, if you go hunting and you shoot an animal, that's the malacha. It doesn't have to be shechted. You kill an mm-hmm. animal. Uh, killing is the malacha. And it kills the shama. It doesn't have to be shechting. And the Gemara asks, Shechet Mishamay Machayim, and Rashi is saying, well, why does it say Shechet? You could have choked it. You're right. <laughs> you could have choked it. That's, that's the malacha. <coughs> so he says a chiddush. But we'll have to see what the essence of the mloch of of of, 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 of killing is of, of the tzil sashama. But he says we all know that when you shecht an animal, it's still alive. If it's jumping around, it's still considered alive. Uh, right? Uh, if you shecht two simanim, we all discuss uh, all, 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 yeah, all concepts. Well, when's the point of death? When's the point of death? So she with Nayatsmi. The Gemara says, Shnei Simonim Veroiv Mafrekas Ima. You have to break Roiv and Mafrekas. That's the, uh, that's the, where the spine is behind the, uh, uh, the bones behind the spine. It's Roiv Mafrekas with the, with the, with the Shnei Simonim. Then, then it's dead. If you chop over a guy's head, or you chop over an animal's head, the animal's dead, even if it's running around. No, there's no halacha shayla. But if you don't chop off the head, you mm-hmm. just make it bleed. It's not dead yet. So if you just cut the shnei simanim, why is it considered that? So in Hilcha Shechita, it's a big chiddush that even though the animal is actually still alive, technically, but once you did Shechita, it has a head to, it's, it's more to eat. We wait till the, the, the shaman goes out for other reasons, the sachal al dam, but this, 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 uh, technically the Shechita is matter the ma'ema, and, and it could be it even considered didn't, that kilo it's dead, even though the animal is, is alive. So if you take a more discusses even if you take a chazer and you shecht it, and uh, even though it doesn't have hilchah shechita, what halacha does it have? Does it have a din that it's meis or not meis in our form? So uh, there's such a concept that shechita, even though technically it's chai, you still it's still uh, uh, shechita includes that, it includes shechting the animal is still alive. So are you chai for killing it? Are you chai for killing this animal if you shecht it but it didn't die yet? Mm-hmm. The ultimate secret. Secret is cut off the whole head. 
when did it die? On Shabbos, and then Shabbos. Oh, oh, it's a good child. So I mean, it talks about that. So if you shecht it on Shabbos, it actually dies after Shabbos. <laughs> so really, it's it's a chiddush that the days even even discusses this because the pashas would be that if you did a whole meisah before and it just dies in the middle after, it's like the shilas if you bake the bread, right? That's the whole thing. If you put it in the oven and it, it, it cooks afterwards, or you chai, you do the meisah before and, and it ends up happening afterwards. Is, is that a malach on Shabbos? You plant a seed, we discussed it. You put a seed on the ground. So it could be that's the whole malach. You have to know where the malach starts and ends. In other words, if you bake bread, it could be as malach of Shabbos. If you bake bread, if you put bread in the oven, and it's raw, nothing happened. And it cooks after Shabbos, but I did the maisa on Shabbos, it could be a machayiv, because the malach is the actual baking. But if I plant a seed on the ground, we said, even though it doesn't grow yet for another three days, <coughs> that's the whole malach is putting it on the ground. So here, the Malach is shechting it. The, the Malach is shechting it even though it doesn't die till later. The Chayr. Malach is a did act that causes it to be dead, even though it didn't actually uh, die till later. But he discusses this question. He wants to say that's why the Gemara is asking, Shechet, Misha, my Chayr, why are you Chayr for Shechet? It's not actually dead yet. <laughs> it's not dead yet till later. And nonetheless, he says, Yechayr. This is the Chiddush of the Gemara, that Yechayr. And he brings. The Gemara says, Marashi says, Hashoyla dogmen ayam. If you pull a fish out of the ocean, to the Gemara Shabbos, I wish you would go to Shabbos, but that's okay. But if you Hashoyla dogmen ayam, that Mishiyavish by Kesela, as soon as it dries up part of the fish, Kesela, being some pier between its, uh, between its fins, so then you chayiv. So, uh, So that's uh, that, that's the chayv from Shil Shem. You know, it's still alive. The fish is still alive, but it started drying to a point where it's not going to live anymore. Even if you put it back into the water, it's not going to be able to revigorate itself and become alive. It'll eventually die. So you're ready chayv for pulling it out. He wants to make it some machlekes some Yishami, but anyways, that's that's the chiddush that you chayv on Shabbos, even though you didn't actually uh, finish off the malacha finish off the, the, the act, but you did something that's going to, that, that, that makes it as good as dead, that's the Malach of Shaykh. So technically, the Malach of Shechita and Shabbos is, uh, is, 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 is really the Tilus Neshama, it's taken mm-hmm. out to Neshama, but even if you don't completely, uh, uh, better, better word to use, and dead in it, <laughs> make it completely dead, that there's nothing left, even if you do something which will eventually cause it to die, so that's enough of a Malach to be Chayiv on Shrita. Uh, now, the um, the question really comes in a lot of different ways it can have. Is what if you make a trefa? Trefa can live for t- up to twelve months. Or if you kill a trefa, place can soon say if you kill. It. Let's say you, you let's say you come along. Our neighbor wants to know the guy shechted the animal. It's not dead yet, and then you kill the rest of it. You finish off the job. You kill it, you kill it quicker, you know. Mercy killing. So uh, a yuchayv, the second get chayv, would we consider it? It's it's already dead. Uh, no, shot by, by people too. No, shot by people too. Yeah. No, by people too. Yeah. So akupanim, uh, <coughs> that that's that's what he wants to say for the what what the yisoid of the malach is that um, that. Uh, um, even though the fish, the Zeraya, that's the fish, are not considered dead really till later. Right from an Olis. More really stars it too. It's Misha and Olis. It's not dead later, but if I did the act that's going to cause it to die, that's enough. That's called the Malacha of Natulas Misham. Okay. Uh, it actually is relevant in Allah because you have certain cases where you don't actually kill the animal, you just put it in a position where it's going to uh, where it's going to die. Or uh, bug into water or something. Mm-hmm. It takes time till it dies. Mm-hmm. But that, that itself could be a malacha. We'll have to see. Okay. What is the malacha? What's the malacha of shrita? What is the malacha of shrita? So it's uh, so simply killing an animal. Killing an animal. Are there parameters to salacha? Anything you kill, you chayiv on the malacha on Shabbos. So, um, so there's a halacha shukhanach like this. So it's a pirush. Pirush is some kind of bug. 
So, uh, and it stings. It's like a big mosquito or something. It's not a mosquito, but it has a nice kishmaka sting. And, uh, but it doesn't matter. You're still not allowed to kill it. So, uh, you're not allowed to kill it. You're not allowed to trap it. You're not allowed to kill it. And you can't even roll it in your hands. You might kill it. Oh, you fly in the yard, you say, can't you just throw it away? I will kina, but a kina, kina is like a lice. Mutta la harga, you're allowed to kill it. You're allowed to kill a lice. So, not for the god of the kina, I'm loyargum, see me You clean off your clothing from lice. It's hard for us to imagine this today in our world we live in today. Our clothing are nice and clean usually. But uh, in the old days, it was the most common thing. People had lice in their clothing. It was uh, everyday. Uh, Living, he just flipped it off. So, uh, uh, I wonder how it would be if a guy would be put back a uh, hundred years or two hundred years if he would survive a day <laughs> drinking the water, which was full of mud, <coughs> clothing, which was full of ice, and all the kind of bed bugs and Gemara says they had all over, you know, uh, right to my mm. uh, It was a different, uh, you know. So, anyway, so for guys in Mafal Begada from Kenem, so then you shouldn't kill it. We'll see why, because you might come to kill other forms of animals which you now want to kill, the purishes and other things that are on. And we'll follow Roshi, this Megal of Lamaisa. If you have lice in the hair, so Mutu Argh, you're allowed to kill the lice. You're allowed to kill the lice. Lice, you're allowed to kill. Why are you allowed to kill lice? It's lice different than uh, any other animal. So, uh, so there's a, there's, there's, the, the Gemara says, that, that the only animals you hire for killing are animals that are part of a rava. The Meshul is Meir Chana, it's a good morning, it's a Rambam. The Rambam is actually very interesting to see. But it says, it says like this The difference between a Pirish of Kino is the whole Moloch the Shabbos to learn how to Mishkan. So the Mishkan, you learn how to Moloch from the Mishkan. So uh, the, the killing has to be similar to the killing in the Mishkan. And the Mishkan, you kill the Balchai, you know, a real live animal. Is that just for the hide for the Mishkan? Yeah. So it was like a once, it wasn't a repeated thing. Oh, you're saying you never needed it again. Only for the first time when they made the Mishkan, you're right, yeah. 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 Or if something happened to it, they had to make a new one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. A lot of things were like that. Uh, the, the, they, they made the Yerias HaMishkan with the, uh, for the sewing and the... So this is the Mishkanas for a Tachlis to create some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we're going to talk about that. Yeah, yeah you bring up a good point. That, that every Moloch has to be a Tikkun. What's the Tikkun in killing an animal? Now, normally there's a Tikkun in killing an animal. And the Mishkan is needed for the hides, but now you shaft the animal, you want the meat. Right, you want the meat, you want to eat it, you want uh, different things from it. We'll talk about that. That's, that's a good point. What's, what's considered a uh, ticket? But so, but it has to be similar to what happened in the Mishkan. So, uh, so the verse is like this: Ma elam ma adamim that they used for the uh, Mishkan. Shaparim v'ravim, they multiply, reproduce. I've called Shaparim v'ravim afuka kina. They in a bomb is after the cave. Now Chazal, we look at this is one of the big things. And Chazal and science that they, they, they went into. I'm not going into fully, but I just mentioned a few things on it. But uh, that kina is something which we don't consider part of a rava. It doesn't multiply from a zacher and a nekeva. Okay, we don't consider zacher and a nekeva because uh, that's how we look at it. Self uh, genera- germination. How do you call it? Self germination. Is it just? Yeah. yeah, it happens by itself. Fish also the Morris has two different kinds of fish that we have that today is different. But um <coughs> uh, so it's from, I think from Rav Miller I heard that everybody asks that it's not possible. How could things self germinate? So he said, What do you mean? They, they believe evolution, the whole world self germinated <laughs> from one thing, yet they reproduced the kept and go. <laughs> All of a sudden when it comes to this, they can't hear it. But uh this, uh, uh, and uh, the mice uh, and in science they do have tiny eggs you know that's uh, eggs and it comes from and it's a producer and there are a lot of the answers to the question how halacha views it something you can't see is not included in the, in the reality and that's the simplest way out and there's different mm-hmm. things but it really actually came there's a sefer Pachad Yitzhak from the Chavusar Ramchal Yitzhak Lampi or something like that he was, uh, he was a big big uh, 
uh, it's a little bit of Kabbalistic safe, but it goes through a lot of halacha things in there, and it discusses the kina that it should be also to kill on Shabbos because scientifically we know today is different, and there's a whole discussion back and forth. Halacha lamaisa, all the place can bring down its mutter. It's mutter. So science notwithstanding, whatever the reason is, a kina is mutter. But nonetheless, we have to understand what's included in this kina. It's not just any bug you think is too small at the Atlantic <coughs> Kingdom. Right, so, but a kina is not considered bar mizoch on the keva, el bar It's called, it came from the sweat. We, look, we view it, we view certain bugs, and, and the truth is it is like that. There are certain bugs, exactly how it works, you have to know, but uh, you, you, you could take a, uh, a, a, a sealed bag and put some fruit in there that uh, decomposes, and bugs will come in there. That's the way it is, bugs. Bugs come from the zaya, from the, from the, from decaying, come, could come from uh, animals decaying. The you know, bugs come out from these things. So bugs, since this is not considered bomb is on the cave, it's considered that it comes from decay. That's how we look at it. So that's bomb uh, the like chasher shiva barrier. It's not considered a barrier. It's worse than a rabba. And we all discuss that. What that means? Well, what's, what's a barrier? A barrier is not considered a. A being, <laughs> no. I consider. So, so the only thing I consider a being. It's walking around, live like everything else. Mm-hmm. Question, but uh, the Rambam seems to say that it's not considered a, the same uh, same type of life as, a, as something which is. In other words, it could, you could say it's just a technical detail. It's not similar to the Mishkan that it's not created the same way, but it's the same level of life. Or you could say, uh, like it's Mashan Rambam almost that it's not the same uh, level of life. Does the Malach Hashim Shri Kulibu like a person's health license doesn't want the lice? Yeah. Is that, that's yeah, yeah, so it will be the Rabbanan because of that. That's mm-hmm. correct. Malach Hashim Shri Kulibu, if you're the Rambam, 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 you're right. Right. That wouldn't make it mutter to do. It would that, not. Yeah, that just makes it the inachayim. Right. You have to have mm-hmm. other aspects to make it mutter. You know, in a Mishkav and... and like for example with mosquitoes that they transmit quite bad diseases because the Kuach Nefesh or other reasons that's something else that's something else that we're going to see if it's because Nefesh you'll have to kill it yeah yeah we'll, 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 we'll get into that so so uh We'll, we'll get to this uh, and Sufal Gufas and Mishkavans and all these things but the first question is what what, what is the Moloch which animal am I chayv on so um so a Pirosh even though, now, now this is what the Rambam says, the Rambam partially you learn that a Pirish is part of the Rava, but the Rambam learns that a Pirish is also not part of the Rava. It also comes from, from, from uh, the Afar, he says. It comes from the Afar. So even though it also is not part of the Rava, it comes from the Afar. It comes from the Afar. Yesh Bachiyas, Kilo Nivim Yizachu Nekeva. Chayavola. And it could be the Rambam says it could be, it could be part of the Rava afterwards. So it starts from the ground, but it could be part of the rubber, or it could be it's not part of the rubber, but it's, it, it has more chiyas. If it comes from the dirt, that has chiyas, and that you're not allowed to kill. But if it comes from the decay of a of a of a of a, um, of a, of a fruit or something, so that's not considered having the chiyas. So that's that's what the, that's what the Rambam words. So uh, obviously, it's hard to know what comes from what. Says like this. Tulon, the Mishmur says, Tulon shall bosar, the worms that come in meat, Tulon that comes in the, in the bugs. So these things are also potter if you kill them, because they, they, they come from decay, but it's also medirabonon. These things are also medirabonon, because it's hard to be machalic, you have other bugs coming in there once things decay, so therefore they acid it. Oh, but, um, But these are only for Tulam that come from the Ramos as a Chiddush again. These are only bugs that come from <coughs> the fruit after it was detached from the ground. But the bugs that come from the Paris that are on the ground while they're still attached to the ground, while they're in the field, that's considered the Shavuman or Ofer that we said before. And then if you kill it, you're Chayv. That's called the Sherrod's gum. So uh, the, the bugs that come after the, the, the fruit decays in the ground, that will be considered it came from the decay. And they're not high for killing it. But the Rabban, they ask it because it's very hard to be machalic which your bugs are coming from what. Yeah. Yeah, but, um, 
but uh, it could be it could be since it's only us in the there's there's uh, there's some leniencies if a person has something decaying and there's bugs there in the house on Shabbos you want to spray it to get rid of it and you can get a guy to do it shvus to shvus you can get a guy to 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 to, to spray it and then kill the animal because it's only drabanim things that come from decay is only drabanim things that come from uh, offer Ram learns or as parvurava that's a deraisa this is awacha agam that the question with science notwithstanding and there are those that were mafakvik on this awacha based on that but nonetheless big people that were mafakvik on it but nonetheless it's awacha tzukah shechamach and it's a gay awacha today you got lice you can kill lice now you can't we said we spoke about by Boyer, you can't uh, pull the ice out. It's a question of uh, issues of, of Boyer pulling that, you're going to show pulling out here, and all kinds of shyness involved. But um, but killing it, you could do. If you, if you, you put some vinegar and, or something and you, you cover it and it kills out the lice, tell you allowed to do on Shabbos. There's no, no issue of killing lice. Mutter, it's mutter. So it says, Mafala Roshe Mutter Lahargam. So, uh, so uh, if, if you see a bug, you can actually pull it off the head. Also, this could be not by your either. So, mafala roshe, that's considered uh, that's mutter lahargai, and you're allowed to kill the uh, the lice. So that's aloch, that's aloch, and it's um, it's a gale of mice for lice. It's a gale of decay bugs that come from the decay. It's mutter with the rice. It's only used to drop on them, and. Um, but the mechav says on the clothing you shouldn't actually kill it because. Because since you have other bugs there, we're not sure what you'll kill. But you're allowed to throw it into the water, the Mugan Avram says. Because since it's, uh, it's only Mugzeir Drabonan, so you can't kill it straight out, but you can flick it into the water, even though it'll die over there. There's actually, so I was little kids, so sometimes they gather, Shiloh. There's actually, uh, there's, 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 there's worms, people can have worms. In the stomach, right? Worms, and uh, and um, I could have a couple of times, you know. So there's actually some pill you could take, and it's disgusting, and the kids won't eat it, and whatever, and it goes in, and it kills the worms. Uh, but uh, you could pull the worms out from the bottom. You see a worm, will pull it out, and you actually kill the worm by pulling it out because uh, it's a parasite. It only lives on the it has to live off of something. But you're allowed to do that. Since the Mekar Adin, it's, it's, it's not, uh, it could be it's not a part of Rav, it's a, it's a thing that's mutter. So, uh, so one would be allowed to pull it out, even though it's going to die in the end, that's, uh, that, that would be mutter, you're not killing it straight out. So, uh, so these halachas uh, could be actually quite negaya, halacha uh, lemaisa. How is that different? Not to say, like, when the head, that expression. Well, because that's Issa de Raisa. That's Issa de because that's an animal that's part of a rover, that's mm-hmm. considered a, a real animal that's that's also to kill, so then you can't just do it for a different reason. I'm mean, like throwing them in the water. No, because these are muta de Raisa, going on lice, <coughs> which is muta de Raisa to kill them. They don't let you kill them on the clothing, you might kill something else. But So if you're not doing it straight out, it's a, it's a, it's a hefter. You're right, because since the rice, it's really mutter. You're not really killing it. You're not really. Uh, so the other box that might be the right, so it's an issue that's a topic. Uh, that's, uh, it's a chashash. The fact that it might be saying another bug there. It's only a chashash. It's only a chashash for alma that maybe there'll be other bugs there and you'll kill. But if I know this is a rice, I could k- knock it off from the drabanum, even if it's going to go into uh, water. Yeah. Just a susp- you might, you know, if you do a lot, if you start killing all the animals, bang, 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 you might kill the bug also. But it's not really that I'm, I'm, I'm not uh, doing that straight out. Okay, Baruch Hashem, we don't know from this as much, and I'll call him, you don't have this, but uh, it's important to know the uh, halacha. Now, um, Um, talk about uh, okay. So th- 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 let's move on from kina. So kina, a uh, person is allowed to kill. A pirush is not allowed to kill. And um, an uh, animal, a regular crawling around animal, for sure you're not allowed to kill. Those animals are real animals. You're not allowed to kill them. Shorts them and everything. But let's say there's a danger. There's a danger. 
They have a scorpion. My 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 uh, sister-in-law. And she said they moved first into Mount Shamash many years back. They were first building there. They had a scorpion on their porch. A real old scorpion. I don't know how you tell us a terrible old park, but it was a scorpion, you know. Dangerous. So um so Kol Chai Ramashim Noishim Vadi Nerogim Bisha Noishma Misim the things that are dangerous, your vadi allowed to kill them on Shabbos. Today it's relevant to certain bees that 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 if you have a kid with allergy or someone has allergies it's very dangerous. So you're allowed to kill them. You're allowed to kill them on Shabbos, even if they're not running after you. You're allowed to kill them. Other mazikim that they don't necessarily kill, but they cause damage. So if they're running after you, you're allowed to kill. If not, it's awesome. But what you're allowed to do is like this. You see a snake away or a little uh, a thing there that's not uh, coming after you. So uh, you're allowed, it says like this. You dosim lefitumai. Filum is chavin. It's interesting. You shouldn't go and kill it. You see, uh, uh, you see, uh, akriv. Akriv is a scorpion. It's not bothering anybody. It's lying there on the street there. It's not bothering anyone. But I, I'm worried. Maybe one, it's going to stop bothering someone. So I'm allowed to kill it. But I can't go over to tell everybody to come watch and go and kill the animal because people won't hop. They'll think, well, this animal I could kill. Maybe I could kill a different animal. What I'm allowed to do is, is. Tra la la, walk by and step on it as I'm walking, so it doesn't look like that I'm necessarily uh, had you killing it. It's just a few too I happen to be killing it. You know, whoops! I think that was something I didn't kill it. So uh, that's called a few too much. So that's just Allah. Something since you're allowed to kill it because of the danger, but you don't want it to be it's not such a it's clear cut danger. It's not coming against anyone. So you don't want people to make a mistake to think you're allowed to kill. So that's Allah. You kill it with a few too that's the uh, now the part of the head is what you're saying that it's a more Hashem Tzvich I'm not really killing it I mean it's a con I'm allowed to kill but even if it's not Mamash it's a con it's just uh, even though there's no Suffolk Pekuch Nefesh but there's a big Tsar in some of these things that bite even there's no Pekuch Nefesh but it's a Moloch Hashem Tzvich I don't need to, I'm, I'm not interested in the animal I just don't want it to damage me so that's um, so that's uh, so if it's running after you, maybe there's more chashash sakon up. Or, but we hold block chain sechul gul is only drabana, not like the rabbam. So even if it's not a suffix pekuach nefesh, but there's a big tsar, I'd be allowed to kill it. So even if let's say the bee stinging would just cause a, 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 a sometimes allergic reaction could be dangerous. But even if you know it's not going to be pekuach nefesh, you have a way to deal with it. But it's still uh, a tsar, big tsar. Uh, therefore, since it's a Moloch Hashem Tzvich I don't really need the, I'm not trying to, I don't need the bee, I don't need the, the bug, I don't need it. I don't need the snake. If I needed the snake for the, for the, or I wanted the skin, that would be a Moloch Hashem Tzvich but it's not. So therefore, I'm allowed to kill it, the Mokham, that is a Hezek or a Tsar. That's the, uh, that's the Allah when it comes to this. Now, part of the Moloch of, of killing, Okay, that, well, how far does that go? There are some, uh, Neil mentioned, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes, yeah. they have the uh, capacity to spread diseases. Diseases, yes. So someone they asked me a shy actually. Uh, someone has a kid that's not well, and uh, very, uh, uh, very um, uh, susceptible. Yes, they're susceptible to, to West Nile virus. Uh -huh. So okay. even though for most, for 99% of the population, it's not such a chashash because even if the mosquito carries it but you're not going to get it but uh, you have someone around that is a real chashash so the question is there's a mosquito in the house are they allowed to kill it? Well, that was a child they kill the mosquito in the house mosquitoes in the house because uh, uh, for the kid it's a dangerous dangerous it's not a quick if the, if the, 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 the I don't know I told you I have no clue what the percentage is of, of mosquitoes that are carrying this this thing if there's a real chashash or not I don't know but if there is a chashash you know, most people don't get it because they have an immune system but if there's a real chashash then um, that would go under this that would go under this category that uh, yeah, you'd be allowed to kill uh, allowed to kill but if it's not a real chashash it's just you know uh, uh, 
fear, the fear out there, yeah. Uh, you haven't seen it happen you know, in, in Toronto in the Jewish community in the last uh, 40 years. <laughs> it's just out there on the radio that it could happen. I don't know if that's called a fashash that you have to worry about, you know. No, I know a Jewish lady who's got time from the fears of yeah. here. Yeah. Mm. Could be. Yeah, someone whose immune system is down is probably a, it's probably a, uh, a real thing. So it's like, like a fly. fly. Yeah, you wouldn't really worry about that too much if it's a fly. Yeah, this is not that really a real like shash. Yeah. Chase it away. Yeah. It's just gonna, yeah. 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 It's dirty, that's so bad. So yeah. It's yeah. food. Yeah. It's, a ba- it's a trap an animal. Mm-hmm. To trap, we spoke last week. To trap an animal and remove it, that's for sure, Mutter. Because trapping, to remove it, could be, is not even a malacha. It's not even a schaven. It's less of a malacha. It's not a mean, uh, sh- uh, it could be it's not a min that's, that's trapped, and, uh, and it could be it's, it's, uh, it's, 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 you're not really doing the malacha. You're just removing it from you. Killing it, you're doing the malacha. You're just doing it for a different purpose. So trapping it, in such a case, for sure, be, but sometimes it doesn't do the trick. You know, you have the skills, this is a trap, which you want to figure that. It's, it's not a very practical uh, malacha. So, uh, you can trap a bee and a sukkah and stop it. Right, so a bee, a bee in a sukkah, that's where it comes out to real shy, a bee in a sukkah. So, uh, 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 pashtas, you would say, okay, it's uh, annoying, but most times it's not really an issue, so uh, why should you trap it? It's annoying. But uh, today, where there's uh, st- allergies are, are quite common and they spread, and even if one day you don't have the allergy, the next day it could be, you do have it, an allergic reaction. So uh, uh, the place can say you could trap it. So killing it is very really less as a less to someone that really is an issue that would you know better not to kill it, but to trap it, uh, that would be I have to. It's interesting, what? Huh? For example, it's in the sukkah, the same animals. You know, it's not dangerous. Right. But then all the kids get like excited, and the mother. Yeah, so maybe they're part. Of, like maybe they're maybe, maybe they're part from sukkah because they would start part of the sukkah, but that doesn't give you a head to uh, trap it. That's just a trap it as if there's a danger base, you know. You know if it's a real tsar, if it's a real tsar, you know, uh, uh, then you could, then you're like killing it. A real tsar, it would sting, it would make a tremendous tsar, then uh, it would be like... Oh. So, uh, just before we move on to the next point, so, uh, the shayla, uh, it's so interesting, shayla, in, in, in killing, okay, the halacha is that if you tie a guy up and you put him in front of a lion, good <laughs> self uh, sometimes you don't even have to tie him up. You put him alive then, you know. They're probably quicker than him. So, uh, so you chayiv. Uh, now, the child of you chayiv misa. You're not chayiv misa. It's whole gemara if it's direct. Not direct, but uh, if you curse from there, it could be a chayiv if, if the uh, line is there. If you, um, so the shaila is, are uh, you chayiv for him lecha shabbos? If you tie him up, tie a guy, tie an animal up, you put it in front of something that's going to kill it, is that a melacha Shabbos? So this goes into the whole shadow of Groma we discussed once. If I put something in a situation where it's going to get killed, is that considered a a a, 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 a You laugh, what's it in the game? But it is the gay, it's certain traps and things. Trap an animal in the dark, it could, it's, uh, you know, there's poison there, whatever it is. So there's, there's a shadow of the gay, uh, from the game, it feels the Shama Shabbos. The question is, could you put out, you have, you have mice infection, and you want to put out poison? Look, spoke about last week if you put out traps. What do I want to put out poison on Shabbos? Four Shabbos, I can for sure put it out. But I want to put out poison on Shabbos, right? So I'm killing it. Well, who said I'm killing it? Maybe you won't come uh, for lunch today. <laughs> it won't come out to find, get the food. I saw brought down from the from the uh, Mabina that it's uh, that we do a bond on the sauce. It's also to put out the uh, uh, you're causing it to die. Uh, I guess you have to know how, how common it is it would come to get it, to uh, get food on Shabbos, but uh, to put it out on, on Shabbos, the poison would be awesome. He says, it's not with the rice, because it's, it's, it's just a grama. He calls it a grama. Putting it there, then it comes and it dies. I'm not doing anything direct. So he says that would be uh, uh, not the best thing to do. Okay, part of the malacha of, of the tils to Shama is, uh, is making a chabura. Making a chabura, chayvo, is, is a malacha. Taking, taking blood out. So even though the guy's not dying, blood out. What's the malacha of chayvo? So actually, it is a three way machlekes. Three way machlekes, we show them. What the malacha of chayvo is. clear making a chabura is, is, is awesome. The rice. 
So it's a derision to make chaval. Uh, you wound the person. The question is, what is that malach? And is this tied in with the Tilish Shaman? Yeah, we're going to see in a minute. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're going to see. We're going to see in a second. Yeah. So the Shah is, what is the malach? Making, making a wound. Uh, you draw yeah, blood. Yeah. Mila. Do the Mila on Shaman. Is that okay? They used to take blood for medical purposes. Take much for blood, uh, blood for medical people. This is a malach. What, what, what's the malach? It says, Machlik Zishan. Most Zishan holds the Tilish the Shaman. Like Tosa says, Mali kol neshama, Mali mixes neshama. Kedam hu anefesh. Taking out blood is a mixes neshama. The guy's a little cut, some blood comes out, some mixes neshama. Taking out blood is a mulacha. So it, it is very relevant for a lot, a lot of different things. You see, so taking out blood is also a mulacha according to Moshe Rishon. The Rambam says seems to learn it's not a mulacha of the tilus neshama. You're not killing the guy. It's a mulacha of nefarik. Dosh, you're taking one thing out from the next and pulling the blood out, that's a malach of nefarik. It's what a Rambam learns. It's malach of nefarik. And there's a, there's, there is a Rashi that says Tsevea. If you want a guy and it gets black and blue, that's Tsevea. That could be that's under the skin, not over the skin. There's three some Rashis, but these are three malachas possibly could be with a wounding a person. The Rambam says nefarik. And the, uh, there's actually an interesting three alachas, nafkamina between the Rambam and all the other Rishayim, the other Rishayim say Yechai from the Tilos Neshama, the Rambam says that it's uh, Mepharic, so the big Nafkamina. In the Mishkin, they killed the animal, what was the purpose? To get the skin. They didn't need the blood. They needed the skin. Okay? So, uh, when I wound a guy, what's my purpose for wounding this uh, animal? So, so what's the purpose of wounding this animal, being chayvul? Uh, well, well, it has to be a mochish tzrichel gufer to be chayvul. What am I doing? So it could be different purposes. Uh, why, why I would want to make a wound? One reason is I'm trying to hunt, and I want to catch the animal. So I shoot an arrow, and I, I hit that animal. I wound it, but it's still alive. And now, once it's wounded, I could catch it. So that could be a mochish tzrichel gufer. I want the animal to be wounded, and order I could catch it. There could be many reasons why I would want to wound something. And the first them to speak out that if I'm so angry at the guy that I want to have him a nice, good black and blue mark, you know, so I give him a good punch, and that's, that's a mulach of Tzvichel Gufa. That's what I want. I want him to be wounded. So, you know, it makes me feel better. It could be that's a mulach of Tzvichel Gufa. But the Rambam, since he's learning a mulach of Nefarik, the mulach of Tzvichel Gufa would only be if I need the blood. If I would need the animal that's left behind, that's not Tzvichel Gufa. Just like Mephiak, we squeeze an orange to get out the juice, right? So Mephiak is I take out the juice. I want the juice. But if I want the orange not to have juice in it, that's not a malacha. That's not dush. That's not the malacha of Mephiak. Mephiak is taking out the thing because I need the thing that I'm taking out. So be big enough, Kamina, the Rabbi Allah speaks out. Feed the Rambam. The Rambam holds it. Uh, yeah, Mephiak is only going to be if I need the blood. The Morris says, you uh, tzorich for the dam. So the Shah's wife and Mila be. You really need to get the dam out also. Uh, the dam out is the question. But the 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 would be I'm taking out the blood because I need the blood. According to the Ram, that's the fire. If I don't need the blood, it wouldn't be the fire. According to the other Mepharshim, the kills the shamer is if I want to weaken the thing itself, or or, or whatever reason I, I want to make that wound, even if I don't need the blood, it's also be uh, the fire. And it'll also be uh, the kills the shamer. How did you make the wound and the get black and blue after the shamer? Not on top. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so so what, uh, what is that could called? be that similar to what we spoke about by Shaykh. So the that comes out later. Yeah. So you can do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So uh, what, what, what is this relevant? And actually, interesting, another enough could be, what? I mean, it's not fatal. Why is it Mixus Nisham? Well, it's called Mixus Nisham. A little blood comes out, he's weaker. So it's Mixus Nisham. A little bit, right what else? It's a derisive. From from this is very relevant, by the way. Uh, people need to draw blood for different medical reasons. They want blood to come out because they want an infection. You squeeze blood to come out. Uh, sometimes you give a needle. The whole shy on the poiskin giving a, a needle. A diabetic needs a needle, right? So when you do a needle, it draws a drop of blood if to get in the vein. So uh, it could be that some. Uh, why is that called tzrichel agufa? So it's all that's called tzrichel agufa because uh, you, you need a, you need to get it in the vein. You need to see there's a little blood coming out. It could be it's called tzrichel agufa. All the person can talk about this. This could be a shail of a malacha daraisa doing these things. Uh, obviously, shail has to be yes in the situation when you could when you can. But the uh, 
there's a malacha of, of, of causing blood to come out, of making a wound from the malacha of the Raisha. Sometimes it's Rabban. If I don't need it, I don't need the wound. It just happens to happen in the process of whatever medical thing I'm doing. Right? Moshe says, taking out a thorn, taking out a, a splinter, taking out a splinter on Shabbos. So if it's not for sure going to draw blood, I'm allowed to do it because it's Suffolk. I'm just getting the splinter out. It's not so deep in. It doesn't for sure going to make blood. And if it makes blood, it's ain't a mischaven, and it's ain't a tzvichel goof. I don't need the blood. So it's uh, that's uh, you know these, these things are very relevant. But it's interesting. Another nafkamina between the rabbam the other way, where the rabbam will be a chumra, is let's say for, from a, a dead person, mm-hmm. you need to draw blood, do some tests, or check things out to draw blood from a dead person. So uh, according to if it's natilus nashama, he's already dead. So no more natilus nashama. But if it's a shayla mafarik, it could be there's a malach of mafarik of taking out the blood. If you're around them, that will be a malach of mafarik. That will be negayim. So these are the different uh, things that come up. So, uh, so causing a wound would actually be... So the Gemara is a very interesting Gemara. The Gemara says a chalazin. A chalazin, right, is, uh, is a fish that... Uh, or a shal, is, uh, some kind of fish that... It's, uh, today they turned it into a snail. It used to be a fish. <laughs> <laughs> that, they, that they get the uh, trellis out of. So uh, that's actually one of the shilas, because in the, in the snail, it's not the actual the blood of the snail. It's a, a separate pouch that has the thing. And uh, a lot of Rishonim is not just the blood, it's the dam of the chalas. I'll try to answer it. But there's, there's a question of what, uh, what the chalas is. So uh, the, the chalas in more says that, uh, that, that they would... Uh, they would squeeze out, the, they would take it and they would squeeze out the, the blood. And, and the Gemara says that, uh, so, so you hire for, uh, for Mepharic, actually. So it's getting out the blood is high for Mepharic. The question is, why isn't the high for Natil Sashama? Take out the blood, why not high for Natil Sashama? So this is actually a very strong proof to the Rambam that you're not high for Natil Sashama. You're only high for Mepharic. <laughs> this is one of the proofs of the Rambam. But the Gemara doesn't say Natil Sashama. But Tais is actually a little bit trying to deal with this question, why you're not high from Natil Sashama. The Gemara actually says that you want the, the Chalazin to be alive. Because if you're getting the blood while it's alive, then it works better. If you, once it dies, it's not such good uh, dying anymore. The blood's not so good. So Kol Chai, Kol Chai, for the Chai, it's better when it's alive. You don't want it to die. Man, that's for killing the Chalazin. But the getting the blood out itself should be a lot of... Um, so Tais deals with Kach, they, they deal with this, this question. But this is that's a Mariah to the Rambam in that sense. But that's, that's part of the issue. You see, if you learn that uh, the, 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 the blood of the Chalazin is not really the blood, it's just a pouch that's coming out from, so then it's easier. I'm trying to keep it alive, but just to get out its poison. But the Pasha we showed him a mashma that uh, I'm actually trying to get out the blood, and that's... Uh, uh, that's... Um, Right, so squeezing out the, the blood could be is 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 a malach of the raisa of um, uh, could be even a farik or could be also malach of the tilus neshama where where I'm uh, we're doing chaval. What if we find the chalav is dead and then are you allowed to take off then? There's no tilus neshama. Right, so then you're on the neshama. You just have a farik. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, so that's that's the uh, yeah, thing. So there's actually there's a mug. Okay, I'm a little bit late. We'll pause in a minute. There's a, there's a mug in Avram that's uh, in Hochus and Shem Chafasim there by by Rafua that says pulling a tooth is a malacha deraisa. Pulling a tooth is a malacha deraisa, and he's, ma- he's learning as malacha deraisa of chayvul. And uh, and uh, Shem Chafasim Rav and others argue they don't understand that you want to say does it sort of pull off the tooth because maybe it's uh, uh, it could be it could be some other malacha. We're getting the tooth out, but chayvul it sounds like it's a little blood because it's causing it to bleed. Chayvul that's a malacha shein sviichel You don't need to. You don't care about the bleed. Rather, it doesn't bleed. What do you need the blood for? So uh, uh, maybe it's a uh, secretion. That blood will come out, but it's a malacha shein sviichel It shouldn't be a deraisa. And they talk about argue maybe not a deraisa. Nafkamina would be in different cases whether whether you can get a guy or not, and, and, and there are different situations. But a lot, a lot of reforms that I've done, uh, one always has to, be, has to be aware that there could be a malacha deraisa of, of, of causing a wound. You need the blood to form my clot. Yeah, but wouldn't bleed, you wouldn't need the blood. And then you can get out of truth without the bleeding. Yeah. 
Okay, so so these these are these are um, these are some things that are negaya from the blocha of Matilas uh, the Shama. Like we said, by other things, that stopping bleeding is not a malacha. Stopping, ble- uh, right? Not, a, not every malacha has the opposite. So, uh, so stopping bleeding is um, is not necessarily a malacha because it, uh, it's not a malacha. I mean, malacha is causing blood. Now, the, the third part, of the third type of uh, the third malacha that comes in, we said is surveya sometimes and cause cause a, a bruise, rashi on surveya. So that, that also would have to be tzvichel goofy. You'd have to need the uh, discoloration. In other words, I'm angry at the guy. I want him to have a black and blue mark. <laughs> well, sometimes they take uh, they, they do these tests. I don't know if they still do it. They, you know, these uh, TB tests or whatever they do. And then uh, you want to see the color that comes up. Uh, forward, yeah. yeah, you have to know. It could be that's also nickel and surveyor. These are these are shadows that come up, but. Um, but in the most part, uh, you're more worried about the first two things. Okay, I think we'll pause it on this.